Oh, hey, what up, podcast listeners, watchers? T. I mean. Right on, right on. We've got big news. Big happenings is what we do on this podcast. It's our thing is we break the big news. We do the reveals. We've had the car reveal. We've had the wedding reveal. We've had the baby reveal. We've had the new room reveal. We've had the new sister reveal. We've, I mean, we just revealed, reveal, reveal today. The big reveal is Evelyn, show them. Evelyn got braces this week. Oh my God. Oh, last week. It's been like a full week, yeah, right? Like been, one week yeah. to the day. One week of braces, which just means we didn't podcast. It means we kind of went a little bit too long. Might have to do like a back to back podcast here ah. to see what's going on. But big braces. So give me the give me the braces rundown. Tell me how the week with braces has been. Um, I, you wouldn't believe it by looking at my teeth. Hmm. I never had braces. You would think I would have. You look kind of, my teeth aren't great. They're not bad. They're not perfect, but they're no, not they're bad. Not perfect. They're not bad. No, they're fine. I ended up, I had a retainer. I had some other teeth stuff done. Mm -hmm. But I never had braces, so I don't know what it's like. Well, the first day, when I got them, getting them on, it didn't hurt. It was like completely fine. They even had TVs on the ceiling. So as of well, like, they, 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 yeah. we go, oh, now. I had a thing with my friends the other day where we talked about if you won the lottery and had a ton of money, what would you do? That I might do that. TV. Yeah, it was uh, nice. I was just lying there watching. It's pretty good. What were you watching? It was just Disney Channel, but... Oh, um, okay. Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Oh, that was Cole Sprouse, and I love Cole Sprouse. I just know. Oh, really? Cole Sprouse? Uh, uh, what else is Cole Sprouse in? Um, Riverdale. Oh, he's a Riverdaler. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, oh, yeah, the first day and then after I got it done, it didn't hurt until like maybe four hours later it started to hurt a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. And um, then the next day was terrible. The next day was terrible. Like the just sore? Like just everything just kind of ached or? Yeah, it was just pain because they're like, my teeth are moving so my... Sure. Oh, I know what braces are supposed to do. Yeah. So the three days after it was pretty bad. The fourth day, it was better, and then it just kept getting better. And now you seem to be fine. I haven't heard you complain or mention it in a couple of days here, yeah, so I'm that's good. Yeah, I'm completely like fine, used to it now. Okay. Uh, how is eating going? Like, what are you? What can you eat and what can you not eat? It seems like well, braces these days. You can eat just about anything. Yeah, I. Still struggle. Like I was eating a bagel, and it takes took me a long time because it's still hard. But it's not oh, like so like so like bad. extra chewy things take a little extra time to mm -hmm. to mash up and grind or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. So bread, like thick bread, like a bagel. Yeah, because especially like yeah, when else? you toast it, it's like yeah, hmm. it's hard. But otherwise, okay. it's been fine. What's the timeline here? When are we doing the big reveal for when they come off? They didn't say, but I'm going back in February to get them, like... Well, I'm not I'm like, thinking it's not going to be February. I know, but I'm getting that... <laughs> like, that's the next time I go back to, like, check on them and, like, tighten them probably and stuff. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. But they didn't say, hey, two years yeah, or five they never years. Said, they hey, never these said things are on until, uh, <laughs> until we get... Until you stop paying. Mm -hmm. We will just keep them on, them on in perpetuity. Yeah, they as long as you keep anything. coming in and sending me money. Uh, all right. Uh, so what else is going on other than braces? Mm -hmm. You, you don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm asking you. What What did you do this week and this past weekend? Maybe. Did you do anything fun? Did you? How's Christmas shopping going? Let's go with that. Oh. Because you are um, blank staring when I just asked you how's your week been going. I don't know. Oh, my uh, weekend was good. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Christmas shopping is going good. I have a gift for mom, Alexis. Yeah, that's the end of the list. I need to get on that Are right you? now. Well, we got 10 days, right? It's the 15th today? Mm -hmm. 15th. Fifteenth today. Fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Sixteenth for you listeners. All you that are getting it on the when it drops. It'll drop overnight tonight. So um so what's on your Christmas list? It's a good thing to talk about. What's on your list? What do you want? Uh 
Well, I asked Granny for this water bottle that has this little thing inside of it where you can put fruit in there to infuse the water. Okay, very good. <laughs> so that sounds like the most Evelyn thing I've ever heard, yes. Okay. okay. Then uh, a new really like fancy pencil case. I also asked Granny for that because okay. Granny wanted a bunch of little okay. things. So mm -hmm. no, I, I know she likes some. giving gifts. And then I asked for ooh mini a mini ice cube tray with like super mini ice cubes because it's just more fun and I like it. Super mini ice cubes. Mm hmm. Okay, so what would you do with super mini ice cubes? Use them for like coffee and stuff. They're to keep things like... cold? You'd use them to keep things cold? Yes, uh, but right. they're just more aesthetic and cute. Oh, very nice. Okay, so mini ice cube tray, pencil case, fancy water, fancy bottle. water bottle. That sounds like that's it. That's I have all you more, need? but I forget them. Okay, no big ticket items? No, no. hey, I want a laptop. Hey, I need a... Uh, I don't really... I, don't I need have anything uh, big that I want. Three hundred dollar. I don't know. Gaming console. I need a. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. Okay. What about clothes? You need clothes. Socks. I don't you need really socks. Need clothes. Okay. So you're not asking for any clothes. All right. Not really. I mean, I love getting clothes. Like, give me clothes, and I'll be very happy. But sure. I don't have anything particular that I really want. And what do I want? Oh, that's a good house. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you want, Dad? Good, it's, it's so nice of you. Yeah. It seems like we're clashing a little bit here, too. We got to start coordinating our outfits if we're going to be podcast hosts together, right? Mm -hmm. We have to have a pre production meeting instead of this. Hey, you want to do the podcast? All right, so three minutes. All right, hit go. Yeah. I mean, that's our pre production meeting. Uh, what do I want? Let's see. I never want very much, right? Yeah, you never ask for anything, really. Yeah, that's true. Um,. So sunglasses. I always ask for sunglasses. Usually Granny gets me sunglasses. You want sunglasses again? I always want. I don't have any sunglasses. I have one really crappy $4 pair of sunglasses. Cause Where did they all go? Exactly. You lose them all the time? I don't lose them. Uh, usually I break a pair. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then usually somebody else breaks two pairs. Then usually yeah. I lose one pair. And so I go through about four a year, which is why when I ask for sunglasses, I always demand mm -hmm. that they're less than $20. You cannot spend more than $20 on a pair of sunglasses or I would be, right? I had that one really nice pair of sunglasses that lasted a really, really long time. Do you know what happened to them? What? Took them golfing. Awesome. Yep. Put them on my hat as I was getting something out. About eight holes later, I went... Oops. Yep. They fell off somewhere. They were not on the top of my hat anymore. And they were gone. So that was my favorite pair. And they're, they're, they've been long gone. Uh, I want, let's see. I am all out of scotch. You know, I like an occasional scotch. Like once a month. So nice. I like uh, Bullmore is the name of it. Yeah, probably a 12 year. Though if somebody was really looking, a 16 year would be something that would be above and beyond. Um, my car has um, cameras all over the place. And those cameras can record and do things anytime you want them to, as long as you have a portable hard drive in there to store it on. I don't. I don't have anything to record it. All those cameras are doing nothing. I mean, they're, I can use it. I can look at things in the camera. And it fakes Right? If somebody comes close to the car, it fakes it. The lights go on and off, and it says sentry mode active. So people think that something's being recorded. It's not. It's not being recorded. There's nothing on it. Well, now you're telling them all. Now well, they're going to go to your car. I know, but I'm going to get the one for Christmas. I'm crossing my fingers. And so then they, you got 10 days wait, to so vandalize you, my car. Wait, so Bring what it is on. it? What do you mean, what is it? It's like a computer. It's like a hard drive where you store files. Oh. So when the car activates the cameras... Either because I'm driving or because I'm parked and something comes near the car. The cameras activate in either of those situations. It has something to record them to. And then you can store, you get a big enough hard drive. Uh, you can store like a year's worth of all the videos from all the things on there. Right? And then like every six months you just go on and you delete it. 
right. start new because yeah. nothing's happened in six months or you've done the things that happened. So, that, so that's something that I kind of want. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. I don't, know. I don't need clothes. I don't need, I need a new pair of tennis shoes, but nobody, I don't want others to buy me tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. I need my me neither. Yeah. So like, I'll be like, yourself. I'll tell you like a specific pair that I want. I'll be like, I need these mm -hmm. shoes, but I'm not But you don't asking. want somebody getting creative out there and going, I think these would be good. I okay. Uh, so what else have you been doing? My classes are done tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day of class for the semester. So today I met with my Tuesday, Thursday class for the last time. And I gave them all their final instructions and they do have a final still. But, uh, as far as class goes, I'm finished. And then tomorrow, the last day with those classes and I'm finished. So that's really cool. So that it's really kind of a relief. It's been a long semester. It's been an odd semester. It's been a lot of extra work this semester. Tons. So I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. When's your Christmas break? Oh, wow. We have to. <laughs> I brought up the wrong thing. You are so angry that I am done with class tomorrow. You know I got finals and meetings, and I'm going to be in the office every day. I'm just not teaching the class. We have to go to school on Monday and Tuesday next week. Why? I don't know. There is no reason we should go to school on those days. I have one reason that I could think of. Okay, what? To learn. No. We learn <laughs> every learn so other day. Much. I think we can oh, spend yeah. two days yeah. to make us happy. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to want to be there on those days. We're all going to be miserable. It's not even, no. Well, that's a good attitude. I'm sure your teachers are really going to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Just like they appreciate it today. Tell a story quick about your end of the school day today. I thought that was pretty funny. All the choir kids got called for the second meeting because at the end of choir class, someone turned off the lights. Like, turn off all the lights so it was dark. Like, went to the fuse box to turn it off? Or no, just went to the wall switches? The wall switch, and they just pressed the button. That's all they did? Off. Yeah. And they okay, got so. to the auditorium <laughs> and go, if you don't confess up, you're going to all uh, be everybody. in trouble. And all, we all just sat there. We all know who it is, but no one's going to say anything because we're not going to do that. Write this person's initials on the piece of paper. No. <laughs> no. You are in steel trap. You are not uh, snitching on anybody, huh? And so we had a conversation in the car, and I told her I was going to bring it up on the podcast because she doesn't want to, about what would the line be where if instead of just turning off the lights, because it's no big deal, turning off the lights, perfectly fine that you wouldn't uh, say, hey, I know who did it, it was that person over there. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, For turning touch. off the lights, no way. I would sit there and just be, no, I'm not, why would I say anything? I didn't do it. I'm not going to tell you. I would do the exact same thing. But we talked about where the line would be. What if it was something where they pushed something and it fell and it hit your choir teacher in the head and it really hurt her? Then would you? What then, if about, then everybody would probably say. I don't know. It was the conversation, but she was not into it. She was not happy. Because I don't know. It didn't happen. So how would I know until it happened? I just wanted to have a hypothetical conversation with people. But I don't yeah. All right. So, I have an answer for you. Uh, what's your favorite gift of all time? Favorite gift that I've ever been given. Ever been given. Your favorite gift you've ever been given. I Maybe we should think about it for next time. We'll do a top five. Top five gifts. The one that I was probably most excited for was when I was. Yeah. Younger, I like screamed. I was so excited because I had wanted an iPod for so long, and then I got one, and I was really excited. And I was okay. So write that down. iPod. This is your uh, brainstorming session for best gifts ever. iPod. This one, maybe. Okay. Next week, top five best gifts ever. Comment down below the favorite gift you've ever given one of us. That'll give us some some ideas. Next week, top five gifts. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. We're not going to gather for Christmas. It's 10 days away. Maybe next week we can talk about what we should do virtually to recreate Smith Family Christmas as much as we can. Because we're, we're not going. We're not getting together. We're not doing that. Sad. You know, I know. And it's like the favorite time of year for everybody. The favorite gathering. The favorite. We always have so much fun and so great. So we'll think of some gathering ideas. Are you ready for questions? Yay! 
Yeah. All right, so here's the deal with my questions. Are you ready? Yeah. The last time we had the podcast, the very same day, maybe even five minutes after we got done recording, I asked a person for podcast questions. I said to Alexis's boyfriend, Jude, Jude, podcast. You know we do this podcast, right? Yeah, I know you do the podcast. Cool. Hey, we ask these questions. Yeah, I know you ask questions. Okay. If you could come up with like four or five questions, so you can existential questions, you can do open-ended questions, you can give us trivia questions. I don't care. Just come up with questions. I've probably sent four or five reminders to get questions. Mm -hmm. I've got some questions here. Uh -huh. All right. You want me to go first or you? So are they from Jude? Well, we'll see. We'll see what Jude came up with. Um, okay. Okay, you first or me first? I got four. I have three. You have three. Okay, so we'll do me. We'll go out. We'll go every other. All right. Question number one. What is Alexis's favorite song? What is Alexis's favorite song? What do you think Alexis's favorite song is? Some oldie song that I don't know. Yeah, she really likes like 80s and 90s songs. So, and 70s, like she likes Pink Floyd, she likes The Who, she likes The Doors, she likes, she likes all that stuff. I think her favorite song is Happy Together. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right. Mm -hmm. I think that's her favorite song. I don't know, though. She's never actually told me. Okay. What do you think her favorite song is? Well, I know a little bit ago it was Kings and Queens. But like, oh, how does that one go? Follow the king and queen. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pop champagne and you, know, yeah. you got to get into it a little. People pop, won't know because I don't. All right, don't so it's a pop, like well. a contemporary song, pop song. Kings and the Queens. Okay, all right. Your question. Okay, my first question is: What are your thoughts on like zodiac signs? Because I know that a <laughs> lot of people like uh -huh. think, oh yeah, that's so fake. I don't know. It's just coincidences, and like it's not real. Like all the astrology, or, like stuff. What do you think? Do you know what that is? Zodiac yes, sign? of course. I know what the zodiac signs are. I know what astrology is. I know uh, I know somebody who I think most people would consider an expert in it. Who? Uh, Sylvia Vandenberg Daves, John and Jody's daughter. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, You've met her? Yeah, you met her. She went to uh, the eclipse with us. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm not into it. That's not my thing. I I think it's fun. Though, I think it's kind of fun. I, I'm, I I'm cool. down with it. It's I fun like, and interesting. And that's cool. Yeah. I have, yeah. I would say like. I mean, if you're making big I life mean, decisions based on it, I don't, no. I'm not into that. I no, think me neither. But, I criticize but that like, a little I've bit. Looked, I like see videos on it and like I looked into it a little bit and it's like. So what's legit. your Zodiac accent? What, like what's legit? Like, it's true. Like, it, it'll, like, say, like, Scorpius do this. And okay, what do they do? all these personality changes. What kind of personality I'm like, that's so true. Uh, oh, Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Um. So, because here's the deal, right? You're a Scorpio? Yeah. Did you know I'm also a Scorpio? And you and I are not alike at all. Well, not in all ways. <laughs> also, <laughs> We October... are so much alike, you have no idea. Actually? <laughs> yes. Yes. We are? Yes. How? What do you mean? Actually, wait. Yeah, we are alike. <laughs> we are so alike at all. Uh, one difference would be your your sense of organization oh. is way above mine. Yeah. Uh, but my desire for organization is just like yours, right? Like, like you want I things think, to be organized. Have I talked so about this it. before, how much I love garbage day? Like, I will literally look forward to it. I'll go, it's Sunday. Okay, three days till garbage day. All right. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Because I love getting that stuff up to the curb and out of here. It just makes me feel good every time. If I have a super full thing that I am getting rid of things and I am minimi minimizing and minimalizing my life, I really like that. I'm really jealous of those people who can have like seven clothing items. Two short sleeve shirts, two long sleeve shirts, a sweater, sort of like seven, seven tops, 
right? Five pairs of pants, three pairs of shoes. I could do that. I really think I could do that. The problem is I, I, I teach, so I'm like, I guess if I explained it to him at the beginning of the semester and told him, yes, you're going to see me wear this 17 times this semester, it's because I only have six shirts. Okay. Um, so maybe we're not that alike. <laughs> maybe you not should, that way. Maybe you should be a Pisces or something, or I should be. Okay, so what is it? I totally bogarted this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you mean, what is it? Scorpio? Well, tell me. No, you said it's legit. Tell it's me what's legit. legit. Tell me. Sell me on it. Okay, because, like, I have, like, I know all my friends, like, Zodiac signs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'll, like, come across, like, a TikTok. And it's, like, if you're a Taurus, then blah, blah, blah. And I'm, like, oh, my gosh, that is so them. Because, like, Maddie Frigate is a Taurus. And, like, I saw, like, a video on it, and it, like, described her. And then I see, like, Pisces, and that's the other Maddie. And I'm, like, that is so her. Like, it's just, it matches up. I don't know. It just does. Okay. Yeah, it just does. It just does. It just all right, does. all right. I'm not going to let my skepticism of it dive into that that uh, and comment. Don't want to. It's not productive. Not going to. Question number two for me says, uh, what would Alexis like for Christmas? What Jude would Alexis like for Christmas? These sound like Jude questions to me. This sounds like the questions Jude should be asking. What's her favorite song? He could make her a mixtape. She'd like a mixtape for Christmas. It's a mixtape. The older people watching the podcast are so excited <laughs> that you asked that question. They're like, S that's it. They don't even know about mixtapes. That's okay. Here's what a mixtape is. When I was younger and maybe even the older generation, older than me, when they were we were younger. Mm -hmm. We had cassette tapes. That's how we listened to music. Oh, like um, like a tape, like in oh, our... like like those things that go in the like they like go they're in kind a... of like a CD player, but like they're like a box. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we had we had some when you were little. We had some that told stories, and you followed along in a book. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So those, those were cassette tapes. What the one of the great things about cassette tapes was that they had blank ones that you could put anything you wanted on. Right, you could either record your voice or you could record a song. Lots of people recorded them off the radio. They would sit and listen to the radio until their favorite song came on. Then they would hit record, and Mom then the song would be, and then you would stop it. That yeah, and then you'd make and you'd make a tape of all your favorite songs. Mom told me that she would always catch them, and she was so good at it. She loved. Oh, she was good. <laughs> she was good at sitting and staring and hitting a button. She was good she at was catching them. All right, good at catching them. I like it. Um, but then you could also take, like, I could have the cassette tape of the Beastie Boys mm -hmm. and I could go, well, I like these two songs. And so I take those two songs and put them on a blank tape. Mm -hmm. And then I like this song from this group and this song from this group and this song from this group. And all of a sudden I got a tape that has a mix of all those different songs. Oh. And what people would do is as a gift to others was they would make them a mixtape. Wow. All the songs that I think remind see, me of you. you see, and now, it was kind of romantic in a way. You see, now we have Spotify. And he already gave her that gift for her birthday. A Spotify he made playlist. playlist. Mm. It's a, very similar. Spotify playlist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So make her a Spotify playlist. That would be he one did. thing. I know. Another <laughs> one. Goofball. Or you can't just do one. Uh, so what else would she like for Christmas? Um, what would Alexis like? I don't know. She's really creative and artsy, but she already has mm -hmm. so much artsy stuff. I don't know. If you ask her, I bet there's something that she wants that's like art related. Like art related, like paints or canvases or. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Does she want. She, so she really likes like um, bracelets and ankle bracelets and mm -hmm. things like that. So giving her a. A couple of those or something. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. We'll see. We'll see what he gets for her. Those are some good ideas, Jude. They're not. They're not. Uh, really not they're not earth shattering. Oh, he, he's gonna want. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you got for question two? Okay. If you. Um, By the way, who came up with your questions? Me, myself, and I. I. I mean, I gave you so many reminders. 
Question two. <laughs> if you woke up on a stranded island, what's the first thing you do? Like you get up, where do you go? What do you? So a deserted do? island and I'm stranded. Yeah, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, first thing. Exploration. Really? What do you mean the first thing you do? I probably wouldn't move. I'd just probably sit there and be really, really scared. No, you would find yourself <laughs> a, a good central location very near where you started. Because if I just woke up there, I got this feeling that I was put there or something was there. Or I, you know, so others are hopefully they're looking for me. So I'm not moving far. I'm staying in a spot that's open. So that if a, if a boat, you said it's an island, so it could be a boat or a helicopter or, a, you know, a, Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, big fat PBY, something like that. If those come looking for me, then I'd be all set. And then I would I would start, uh, I would go you know, north for however far and back. And then south for however far and back. And then east for however far and back. Because remember, I'm on a coast here. So there's the water I can't go back. So then I go further north the next time. And then I go further south the next time. And further east the next time. For, right, the exploration. What would you do? I don't know. I'd sit there and I'd be really scared for a long time. I would probably and do that then too. then I'd go look around a little bit. And then I'd probably be way too scared to go anywhere. Because being alone on an island, not knowing where mm -hmm. what is in the island or farther off, that's just scary. I don't want to. Yeah, you'd have to find some shelter, right? Mm-hmm. Have to find some food. I would just, I would just. Have you ever heard of Maslow's hierarchy of needs? No. I would just Maslow hierarchy of needs it. I, I would just, I is. would fall back. So mm. there's this guy Maslow, talks about the hierarchy of needs, and it's like a pyramid, right? You at the bottom of the pyramid is the basic human needs. You need to be able to breathe. You need water. You need right, and you cannot move up the pyramid unless you have satisfied the the one below it. So right, the next one is shelter. Cannot start to seek shelter and safety until, oh my God, she hates Maslow's hierarchy. Hey, I'm tired. <laughs> I have to get up way early. At the top, you. by the way, at the top is what's called self-actualization. The feeling that you have navigated a situation as well as possible, right? Our own ego, some people describe it as. We can make ourselves feel good, mm -hmm. right? But, so I would just Maslow's hierarchy needs all the way up. Uh, question number three. Tell me a good story from when Alexis was younger. Oh, a good tell, me, story. tell me a good story. Oh, I have a good story. Oh, I, I know. Yeah, go for it. Um, I don't remember this, but I was told this, that when I was three weeks old, Alexis was walking, and that when she picked me up by my feet, holding me upside down, and the mom saw her, so she dropped me on my Not true. head. Not true. Yes, it is. You <laughs> guys Alexis told me told that, you that, that happened. No, mom did, and you, and Alexis. I didn't tell you that story because that didn't. I, I don't remember. I must not have been home. I didn't see Well, this. mom told me that. Mom told me that she was in the hallway and she was home. <laughs> no chance. Yes, she. No then you guys are liars. Chance. You lied to me. So, yeah, and we got Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Our next term is confabulation. They lied. Confabulation is the My idea is that liars. we tell a story enough that it eventually it starts building a little bit and you convince yourself that it's true. But I'll it bet, is. I'll bet what happened was she well, tried to pick like, you oh. up out of your little bouncy chair or something. And we we noticed that, oh, Alexis, you shouldn't no, do that. And so she let you go. She was not walking this. down the hallway with you by your feet. <laughs> We're going to ask mom happening. because this is what I was told. <laughs> okay. I'm not blaming you for the story, by the way. If others, are, you, you obviously don't remember. Okay, so that's a good, I mean, it's a good story. Apparently. So here's a story that I like. It was when, uh, when Isaac was born, you and Alexis shared a room. And you were together, and you always had troubles going to sleep. Because one of you was always mad at the other, or whatever. You're having trouble. You kept each other awake, and it was sort of maddening. It was sort of crazy. But you two would play this game called butter main butter main was uh i don't even know how to describe it because i was never sure what was going on here's what i know one of you 
and I think it was you, would sing a little song. Ready? No, it was both of us. We would both sing it. Okay, we're ready. We're singing it together. Because this has been, this ah! has been 10 years. <laughs> There's no way you've thought of this in 10 years, right? Butter main, butter main, butter main, are you okay? okay. <laughs> yes. And then one of us had like a stuffed animal that we would call butter main. And then it was a stuffed go, animal? I thought it was like an imaginary. We, we would either do imaginary or if okay. we had something around us, sometimes okay. we do stuffed animal. Um, but yeah, basically we would be like, um, are you okay? And then we would be like, no, and tell what happened. Like, let's say Buttermain fell off his bike and hurt his head. And then we would be like, okay, send him over. And then we would attend, like, give Buttermain to the other one. And they would fix him up and be like, okay, send him back later to see how he is. And we'd wait a little bit. And we'd be like, oh, he's all better. And then it would go, Buttermain, Buttermain. Butter -main. Butter Maine is yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would sing this, you guys would sing this for 45 minutes while you were trying to go to bed. That was pretty good. That was yeah. that was a fun story. I was going to tell a different one. That's a better story. Mm -hmm. uh, third question from you. Uh, you, you got yourself a little, <laughs> hey, yourself a little snip snip I'm tonight. I a like jokester. It. I'm not actually... Okay mad or anything okay okay that's a sagittarius right there you're mm -hmm. acting like a sagittarius that is not oh it's totally sagittarius no i don't think so okay, okay. what is a crazy thing that you did as a teenager like something crazy that brain or whatever like got in trouble for something or i didn't get in much trouble as a teenager, I really didn't. Neither you or mom have fun like stories like that. Do you have anything? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm sure I do. Coming up with it all right off the top is difficult, but I know I do. Definitely I have. Well, well I can tell you, this is not a crazy story. It's not crazy. But uh, so I drove a car when I was in high school and the car was a... A manual transmission, do you know what that is? So you oh, yeah, shift yeah, you into first, you shift. like I drove when we were in Costa Rica, right? I had, you have to shift, okay. So I had a car like that and I went up and it was winter time and I had to, uh, and I was warming up the car and I had to run back inside to get something. Mm -hmm. So I ran back inside to get something and when you have a car that is a manual transmission, uh, you can't just leave it idle, right? You can't just, there's no park. Right? It's always in one gear or the other. There's no park. Park is neutral. But oh. neutral means there's no brake applied. Right? It's just sitting there. It's mm -hmm. just idling. Like you can push a car if it's in neutral. People can physically get behind it and push it. So I got out and I went up to get something in the house. And I came back down and the car wasn't there. Did it roll down the hill or something? Not all the way. You remember where we used to live. Thankfully, it didn't. Came really close, though. It rolled and it hit, we had a second garage sort of off of the main garage there. It rolled and it ran into the garage and it put a big hole in the garage. But if the garage wasn't there, I have no idea where that car would end up because it would have went down the hill and would have ended up either in somebody's backyard or in somebody's living room because it would have gone through the back of their house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh -huh. that was not, a, that was not. Wait, so good. how do you like, Break the car. Like, well, there's an emergency brake, right? <laughs> Pull up the emergency brake, the e-brake, uh, right? Sometimes people put. Sometimes you push it with your foot. Sometimes you pull it in in the middle. Mine was the kind that you pull, and I must just not. I must have probably just kind of half half tried it this way, and I, and I went. Didn't really. Obviously, didn't work. So off it went. Crashed my car into the garage. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So tell me a crazy story about you being a teenager. Well, the, stuff, the questions are supposed to be, yeah, that's true. Well, 10, 11, Yeah, half of 10. your teenage life so far has been spent inside in a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, last question then. And it wasn't very spontaneous last year. I didn't really do much. I mean, I had fun. I was... I had a ton of fun. Cool. I had a ton of fun with my kids, or with my kids, with my friends. I just wouldn't say, I mean, when you say crazy, I should start thinking a little bit 
a little bit lower in the crazy. They were yeah. burn everything down. We never got arrested. Mm -hmm. Never got. I stole a stop sign once. Why? Uh, because it was there. And you just took it. Yeah. So it was one of those. Rabbit. They were doing some construction, and so it was a stop sign that was like there was just two sandbags holding the stop sign. So you could just the stop sign was just maybe four feet tall or whatever. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, pulled over next to the stop sign, put the stop sign in the back of my car, closed the thing, drove away, and I'm not kidding you. Four seconds later, <laughs> police got pulled over with uh, the stop sign uh, in the back of my uh, car. Uh, 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 because uh. they saw, of course, they saw me do it. Like, why, <laughs> why wouldn't they? Why would that be the one time in New Ulm history that a police officer has been, I don't know. <laughs> of course. So they pulled me over. What are you doing? What are you... They made me go put the stop sign back. They probably they could have fined me. They could have, uh, you know, I got off. Lucky. For sure. Because they could have said, well, it's stolen property. And it's this, that. They got, for sure it could. I'm not sure what you could get charged yeah. with. But it certainly could have. So. All right. Last question. Last question. Uh, number four from Jude. Thanks again to Jude for sending those awesome questions. Really, really appreciate it. Awesome. Question number four from Jude. Uh, Alexis is the best. Am I right? Wrong. Just kidding. Oh, yeah. Alexis she, is the best. She is pretty cool. She is pretty cool. What's cool about Alexis? Lots of things. Such as? Such as she's nice. She's not a mean older sister. Like mm -hmm. a lot of my friends have mean older sisters. Oh, whisper to me one. Don't tell, don't tell the podcast. I don't want to, I, I don't want to put this person on blast, but whisper one, know. whisper one. I don't know. Write their initials down on that piece of paper. I don't. Write their initials I, down. No. I don't. Write their initials down. <gasps> really? I didn't, I didn't write that, it. They are not that mean. I know. You're right. She's a very nice older sister. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know what I think is, uh, Alexis is the best, am I right? That really has come to light with me in the last what? Eh, six months or so. What? Um, she's a good thinker. Like, she legit thinks about things and has uh, well thought out opinions. Like, uh, if I was her English teacher and I was reading the things that she was writing and thinking about, I'd be so impressed. We were watching a TV show the other day, and there was this thing that was happening on the TV show, and it was going back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, I don't get it. Why is this? And I wonder, I said, do you think this other thing? And I said, I think this is what's happening. And she looked at me, and she says, no, he did, he's doing it on purpose. The letter at the beginning is from the little sister he's trying to get kicked out. And it, she was a hundred percent right, Obviously. and it was totally something that uh, was it was it needed some depth in your train of thought to figure out because this kid was abused, because the daughter had things happening at home that were right, and because they had this connect, it was like oh so good. And then I'm, she writes I'm her watching, English papers about like yellow wallpaper and these things. It's like oh my gosh. I'm yeah. watching this show right now where it's really fun because you can like predict things and like. It's called Criminal Minds, and it's actually really good. I've only watched, I actually watched one episode today, five episodes that makes, but okay, it's five like, episodes in. every episode is like a new, like, mystery, mystery. Yeah. and it's really fun, because you can just, like, predict what's gonna happen, and they're, like, so, so smart, and, like, they're really good actors, and it's, it's really fun to watch. Mm -hmm. I like it. It feels sort of adult is it sort of adult i never watched criminal minds i don't it's i know of criminal like, minds it's not it's, well, I'm well gonna i say mean it's I, violence and like people are being murdered but like there's nothing like not adult and that's not it's it's not for little kids <laughs> but like yeah it's probably for like my age enough i guess <laughs> because i would think you're right on the edge yeah because it's, it I'm does not telling have you you shouldn't like watch it or can't handle it or whatever. Like but. That in it, but it's like murder. Yeah. Like I, don't I guess know. when I was your age, I was start. That's the age that I was starting to watch things that were. I was no longer watching the kids shows. I was I was watching adult uh, dramas. Yeah. As my favorite shows. But yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Watch Criminal Minds, guys. Watch Criminal Minds. Get it going. Yep. That's your recommendation from E.
and T. Right on.